So you're considering making a move to Wesley Chapel, Florida? Well, in today's video, we're gonna talk about why everyone loves living in Wesley Chapel, Florida. We're gonna talk about things like, is Wesley Chapel a good place to live? Is Wesley Chapel safe? Does Wesley Chapel have good schools? What is the shopping like? What are the amenities? What's the weather like? We're gonna cover all of these things and we're gonna get after them right now. If we've never met before, my name is Juan Alcala. I make videos, they're all things Tampa Bay, what it's like to live here, what it's like to work here, what it's like to play here, the food, the dining, the outdoors, the beaches, and the sunshine. I'm also a licensed real estate professional and I help people just like you buy, sell, relocate, and invest in the Tampa Bay area. And if you're into these types of videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the little bell. That way you can be notified every time we make a video just like this. All right, so let's talk about why everyone loves living in Wesley Chapel. You know, if you look at a website like niche.com, which I'm gonna put the link down below. They rank Wesley Chapel as one of the best suburbs in Tampa, Florida, and they give it an A rating, which is pretty cool. Now, let's talk about where Wesley Chapel is. Wesley Chapel is in Pasco County, which is to the north of Tampa. It's a suburb of Tampa. Um, you've got Hillsborough County, which is where Tampa is, and to the north, we have Pasco. At the southern point of Wesley Chapel, you're about 30 to 35 minutes to downtown Tampa as a short drive. And at the northeastern point up towards San Antonio, it's about 50 to 55 minutes with traffic. Totally depends on the day and what's going on out there, but that's what you should expect. It's about an hour to an hour and 20 minutes to the Gulf beaches, so it's not close. If you're, can, if you're a beach baby like me, Wesley Chapel might not be the best fit, but if that's not the most important thing to you, then it's a really one of these really desirable places to live. I get a lot of phone calls on it, so much so that I decided to make this video because we answer a ton of these calls. And Wesley Chapel has about 65,000 residents at the time of this recording. Lots of new construction and developments out there happening. It's absolutely beautiful booming. It's got access to amazing amenities, which we're going to cover in this video today. And it is one of the most desirable places in all of Tampa Bay to live and for a lot of good reasons. And I want to kick into some of those reasons. Now, the first thing that I want to, to make sure that I preface here is because I hold a professional license, I am not allowed to tell you whether an area is safe or not. I can't tell you whether the schools are good or not, right? but I can direct you to the resources that will help you really make a great educated decision for you and your family or just for yourself. And I think that's important to note. So in the description below, you're gonna find links to every single source that I cite today, okay? And again, this is not my opinion, these are facts, right? And this is data that's being presented from these websites. So I wanna share this with you guys and just make sure that we're all on the same page, but because I just can't answer some of these questions. Um, but I can give you my experience as a father or a husband and as a resident, and then I can point you to the information that I think will help you make a very qualified decision if you're considering this as a relocation. So let's get into the, the details here. Let's talk about safety because this is the number one phone call I get. And y'all, I remember moving my family 1,200 miles away from Detroit, Michigan to Tampa, Florida, not knowing a thing about it. I didn't visit Tampa. I wasn't hanging out in Tampa for years and years and years, and that's what drug us down. Kate and I thought we were gonna move the kids to the Atlantic side of Florida and be in the Jensen Beach, Stewart, Port St. Lucie area near her father. That's really where we thought we were gonna be for 10 years. <laughs> and Tampa snuck into our life. We came twice and we were like, we love it. We just, we wanted to be here, the sugar sand beaches. We just fell in love with, with what the Gulf Coast had to offer offer and we really, really wanted to come, but I didn't have access to videos like this. I didn't know. So we had to start doing homework through websites like I'm gonna share with you today. And the thing I wanna share with you right now with, with these websites, and excuse me guys, but I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm sharing my resources here with you, so I'm gonna read from this page. These are the websites that I started using. Neighborhood Scout, that's a great one. I also have access to another local one that I'm gonna share with you down below that I think is really cool too. It shows you like the icon of the type of crime that happens in your community and y'all I know what you're thinking like I don't want to move to anywhere with crime I got news for you where you live has crime too 
okay? Now, what type of crime? That's what was important to me as a father. So I encourage you to go check out these websites. And I think one of the best ways for you to stack up apples to apples is when you look at Wesley Chapel or any other areas. And these websites will allow you to look Seattle, Washington, if that's where you're watching from, or New Jersey, if that's where you're watching from, or Chicago, and put these things in perspective. And you can look at your neighborhood, your zip code, and say, okay, this is what's happening in my neighborhood. Let me look at the area I'm looking at in Wesley Chapel. Oh, they're really similar. Or Wesley Chapel has a lot less. And oh my goodness, I didn't know this was even happening. In my and I know that's the type of thing that happened to me. So I wanted to share that with you. But according to the FBI and the Census Bureau, which is where this data is coming from, Wesley Chapel is rated one of the safest places on the West Coast of Florida. So I think that that is awesome. Right, so you can look at that information, and it ranks in the in the safest communities in the United States. So that is also really cool. So great resources. I put those links down below. Please make sure you grab into those things. They're awesome. Now, the second thing that I get asked most often is how are the schools? Because a lot of the times I get families that reach out to me because you guys know I have a family, and it seems to be we make a connection that way. But if you don't have a family and you don't have kids, you're probably thinking, well, why are schools important to me? And they are, and I'm going to give you that reason. So I want to kind of walk through this. According to greatschools.org and um, publicschoolreview.com, Wesley Chapel has an A rating. Now they got to, their highest rated schools are Wiregrass Ranch, uh, Cypress Creek, and Wesley Chapel High School. And you know, an A rating is a that's a top rating anywhere you look in the United States. So this is another reason why this community has become very desirable. And again, you might be looking at this going, well, Juan, I, you know, maybe I'm a retiree and I don't care about schools. Um, why is that important to me? The thing I want to share with you is if you go look at data, not Juan's opinion, right? If you go look at data, you'll find that the schools with the best communities tend to have the best real estate values. They also tend to have lower crime. Again, go check out the data for yourself, right? Don't just take my word for it. This is not me giving you my opinion. This is me reading the data and sharing it with you guys. But that's not always the case. I understand there's gonna be anomalies, but what you'll find on average is these things kind of go together, right? They, they hold up really well. Resale values in communities that have high school ratings tend to hold up really well. Your real estate values hold up really well. So these are considerations that you might wanna factor in if you're considering making a move to an area like West. Wesley Chapel or any others, right? But again, don't take my word for it. Go check out the links below because they'll give you all the details to all of the, these, these sites rank schools across the entire US. So I think it's a really cool thing to go check out. All right, shopping. Now this is important. If you're moving to a community, I mean, I get so many questions about Juan, how far away is the next grocery store? Cause I don't want to drive 20 minutes to the grocery store and I don't either. So I completely agree with you and it's important to take note of, but there is so much shopping in Wesley Chapel. Um, Les, if you don't mind, will you put uh, the Google map up here and just type shopping in Wesley Chapel? It's insane. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much going on. And Les is my video editor. He's awesome, y'all. He's the guy that makes all this magic happen behind me. Um, shout out to Les. Thank you very much, bud. But like, you've got Tampa Premium Outlets, which we did, uh, we covered in our last video. There is hundreds of shop there. Everything from Kate Spade to Nike. You've got everything at your fingertips. You've got Target. You've got Costco. Costco is pretty important. I live in Pinellas County by the Gulf Beaches, and there is only one Costco in our entire county. My wife has to drive 30 minutes, and I know this is first world problems, y'all, but for those Costco fans out there, you know exactly what I'm talking about right now. It's important. You've got Publix grocery stores. You've got Winn-Dixie. You've got access to all of those things. You've got the Groves. The shop at the Groves is awesome. There's this place there called Crate where they took these shipping containers. There's like 90 of them. They've got restaurants, boutiques. Um, you can eat your way up and down that space. It's awesome. There's a movie theater there. There are restaurants galore. You've got uh, the shops at Wiregrass. You've got the shops at New Tampa, which is technically Tampa, but it's just south of there. You've got the uh, town center at Wesley Chapel. There is so much shopping at your fingertips. There is never an excuse to not have access to the thing that you want and not have to go far to do it. And I think that's important. This community is conveniently located right next to I-75, giving you access to downtown Tampa, 
275 and i4. So that is a huge draw as well. It makes things very easy to have access to this type of shopping is awesome. You know, I think it's wonderful and it's another reason why people tend to flock to this area. It's great. And that leads us to housing because this is a consideration that you're going to want to try to dial in for sure. And, you know, again, I'm a licensed real estate agent. I love digging into this information and sharing it back with you guys. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. I just want you to know that I personally answer all of those questions, not an assistant, not some bot. Juan loves to answer those and sorry for talking about myself in a third person, but I always find it uh, fascinating because people are always wondering. I know I did, but let's talk about housing. You know, Wesley Chapel is a is an up and coming community. There is a ton of new construction going on out in the area. There are homes that are 20 and 30 years old out there as well. But this community has really started to explode in the last five to 10. So I think that's important to note because you're going to find a lot of new or newer construction homes in the area. And at the time of this recording, you can go get a brand new townhouse, uh, two bedroom, two bath with a garage for right around 290,000. The most expensive active listing on the market is 940,000. That's a five bedroom, four bath with a pool, backs up to water, it's pretty awesome. And this, this entire area is pretty unique. There's a lot of master plan developments. It's communal, and what I mean by that is, I'm giving you an example, there's a place called Avalon Park where in the center of the community, they have a Publix, they have a CVS, and there's a park downtown where everybody can meet, and you have access to three community pools and hiking trails and a dog park and a, a playground and all of these wonderful amenities. And there's a lot of these style communities. You've got Epperson, which if you guys haven't seen my Lagoon video, go check it out because this thing is bananas. It's a seven and a half acre man-made lagoon where their motto is, we're bringing the beach to the backyard. And if you remember what I said earlier, you know, you've got to drive an hour to an hour, 20 minutes to the, to the Gulf beaches, which is not exactly a hop, skip and a jump away. That's basically a day long event. If you're going to pack up the family or yourself, you know, maybe you're taking Fido to the beach, you know, and driving over an hour to an hour and 20 minutes is quite a hike, right? So they decided to bring the beach to the backyard. You can kayak, you can paddleboard, there's cabanas, there's a beach, they have a, a floating obstacle course, this thing is nuts. There's a bar, a restaurant, they have this huge video screen where you can go watch sports games and uh, screenings of movies, they have food trucks on, it's nuts and all of this is happening inside a community and this is a huge draw. When I take clients who fly in and are, are considering the area, when I take them to Epperson, it, every, I, you can see their minds, it's just like, <laughs> it just explodes right there. And mine did too. Every time I see it, I'm still like, man, this is a crazy feat of engineering and it is a huge draw. So I think you would absolutely love it. And that leads us to amenities, y'all. So let's talk about what type of amenities are in the community as well. Talking about the lagoon, that's obviously amenity. Dog parks, those are amenities. But what do you have, what does the whole community have access to? You know, you've got, um, you know, uh, Wesley Chapel District Park and they just built this gorgeous recreation complex. I think it's about 17,000 square foot of enclosed space where they have, um, oh, it's the largest recreational facility in Pasco County, by the way. Um, it's got pickleball, basketball courts, they do Zumba, they do salsa dancing. Um, and this is all on a existing park where they've got walking trails and ball fields and soccer fields. Everything is already there. You've got an ice rink up in Wesley Chapel, and you know, with the Tampa Bay Lightning, hockey has become extremely popular. And also, with the amount of you know people who relocate from either the Northeast, um, the Pacific Northwest, or the Midwest and Canada, you know, hockey is just continuing to grow in the area as a sport. So having access to a hockey rink that might be super important to you. And in Florida, that's not common practice like it was back home in Detroit for me, where we. You know, we never drove more than 20 minutes to get to an ice rink. That was very accessible to us here. But having access to an ice rink, I think, is an important thing to note. And, you know, these are great amenities that you have at your fingertips, which some people absolutely cannot live without. We've got great soccer clubs, baseball and soccer, y'all. We play that all winter long. I mean, it's February at the time of this recording. My kids are playing soccer outdoors. It is awesome. Being a northerner where we only used to play basketball and hockey during the winter and you got shut down till spring and sometimes it would snow on opening day. Like 
that is so far off the reservation here. We have access to, you know, the outdoor and lifestyle. And this is something I wanted to share as well. It's like the lifestyle that Florida presents is incredible. And, you know, part of that lifestyle is, you know, the last thing that I wanted to share with you guys, which is weather. You know, when you're moving from the Northern States, the Pacific Northwest, maybe you're moving from the West or, or Northeast again, you know, a lot of us are trying to escape that cold, dreary gray. Um, or just the cold in general. You know, sometimes we get older and we're just over it. We're ready to, to move on to the next phase of life. So I wanted to share what you can expect when you come down here because I know, you know, during the winters, they got harder and harder the older I got up north. You know, five to six months of gray, cold, dreary weather is not fun. You know, I always kind of poke fun that the, the, the Michigan State flower was car parts because every spring after the highways would defrost and all the salt, um, you know, and the snow would melt, you would see all the car parts on the side of the road from people getting into accidents from the snow and crashing into the embankments and stuff. It's crazy. And I know that's, it, I'm tongue in cheek, but it's it's real, right? And down here, we don't have that. We play soccer and uh, baseball and outdoor sport sports during the winter. So it's really nice to have that. And during the winter months here in, in Wesley Chapel and in the greater Tampa Bay area, you know, your on average temperature is in the low 70s. That's awesome. During the summer, during the peak, the hottest point, and y'all, I've done pros and cons videos on this before. We shared the ugly too. Um, June, so July, August, September in Wesley Chapel, the average temperature is 90 degrees. So it gets hot, y'all. Make no mistake about that. It gets warm. So if you don't think you can handle the heat, you need to take that into consideration because I think it is important to note. But the thing that I love here, and I've shared this before, but I love sharing this every time somebody calls. They say, hey, Juan, what is the biggest difference between you know, Detroit and Tampa and the weather. Well, obviously it's warm, that's easy. But the biggest thing to me is you don't have to shovel sunshine, y'all, right? It's this, St. Pete is called Sunshine City. <laughs> you know, we have access to an abundant amount of vitamin D, it is awesome. And if you love the Gulf beaches, you can go get you some vitamin C as well, SEA, right? So like, go check that out, y'all. And if you've got questions, y'all, please do not hesitate to put them in the comments below. I would be happy to answer them. All of my contact information is down there as well. Do not hesitate to reach out. And until next time, go out and live that Tampa life.